Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 4 of our Portugal Let's Play. We are about to head into the Renaissance era. I think we actually have already headed into the Renaissance era. Let me just check here. Yeah, we are in the Renaissance era. We literally just entered it. And it looks like it'll be 76 turns before our next era. We are very slow today. We haven't even met our final civilization. I wonder who that can be. I think that's Byzantium we still need to meet. Despite actually seeing one of their cities. And Poland is actually rapid, rapidly settling across the continent here so we are basically competing around with England and Poland for some viable colony spots as well as trying to scout out some uh, strategic resources here I think we want to finish colonizing northern Africa but the priority for today's episode is probably just going to be um, taking out Plymouth and establishing some kind of new colony speaking of which let me get my guy over there and see if we can actually field anyone to take that out I don't know if I can even upgrade that. Um, let's send a few swordsmen down here. <clears throat> and see how we progress. Okay, now what do we want to do in Quambra? Someone is actually telling me about my suboptimal harbor placement. And yeah, I guess that's the case. But I mean, as Portugal, you're going to be swimming in gold. Especially since I already have these amazing uh, commercial hubs here. And I didn't really feel like chopping out the crabs. So, I think I'm fine with my decisions here. But man, this is going to be a really, really good city, Faro, right here. It's really helping with our science production. And I think we're already ahead of the AI. Yeah, we're at 96 science. That's like nearly twice as much as Victoria there. Now we have an option for an industrial zone. We also have some nitre here. I don't know if I'll harvest that or not. I might actually build an aqueduct on top of that and then get an industrial zone here. That's not actually a bad idea. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You know what, I think I'll get an aqueduct here, and then that'll still work the niter because of my removable resource mod, which is a must. Um, I'm always going to recommend that mod, but um, it just makes things so much easier. Anyhow, I will also get an industrial zone there because that extra power is going to be super useful later on later on in the game. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to refuse this city. And I just want to raise it. I don't want to keep it. So... We still don't have machinery either, I'm surprised, but um, we need to get these guys out ASAP. Try to take this city. We might actually be able to do that with Maui. Okay, you on the other hand, go over here. And we're still sending a settler out. Where are you going? Okay, you're going over there to settle on the, uh, the wine. That's fine with me. And you can just hold the line here and fortify. Now, I don't know if you can attack from there. It looks like you can. But it might be a better idea to get on the hill and get that advantage there. Okay, you want a trade deal? I'll take this. That's pretty good. You really want that nighter, don't you? Okay, but you are not looking too good here. So let me just take this guy out. And then keep fortifying with the swordsman. Good lighthouse in Beja or Beja. Still haven't kind of corrected my pronunciation of that. Okay, and you still survived miraculously. Let me just um, promote you here. Battle cry, your first promotion, and then try to attack the city if you can. We'll have to see uh, how well that goes. All right, I'm fine with open borders. It pains her to agree. It's also probably a good idea to get a friendship with Germany. So let me just declare friendship here. And I'm surprised. They haven't put much of an offensive against England here. Ooh, and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. They captured Constantinople. Where is that? It's all the way over here. But I am really, really surprised that that happened. And I can even vote for the emergency, even though I don't even know where Constantinople is. And I haven't even met Byzantium. So that is really interesting. Anyhow, keep attacking Plymouth. And we're one turn away from raising that disgusting city to the ground. Perfect. Might as well grab some more experience on our way out, too. And I think this turn... Ooh, okay, special session. I guess I'll vote for this. Ooh, and we've met Basile. Okay, so the mission did pass. 
And okay, a lot of people actually voted to go to war against her. So I'm fine with that. And we actually got Hercules too, or at least we met him. Anyhow, take this Maui, or maybe the swordsman can take Plymouth. Just do that, and then I want to plop down some ivory here. Raise this. I think a city on the olives would be much more productive anyway. And looks like there's still those production yields, oddly, from the ivory. Uh, let me just send this to, uh, what do we want here? Sheffield could be really good, so let's just grab that. And that extra gold will be very, very productive. Okay, we have a ton of notifications here, too. Dear God. Okay, I'll still be friends with her. If she sends any more cities, though, I'm going to freak. Okay, I did not mean to click that. And I think we'll use our last charge as Maui. And are the elephants still here? That is really weird. It looks like they are still there. Which is really, really odd. Uh, anyhow, we could probably just plant something on the forest then. And that should work. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, I'll send these guys back to their cities, their respective cities. And that should be that. Okay, I'll also get a research alliance and then our trade routes to Germany will be a lot more profitable. And then on top of that, we can start building some Fatorias if we get a uh, now going. So I think we have one in construction. Right. Okay, we do have a now in construction. I don't know if we can buy one out just yet. Probably not. They are super expensive. But I will use my excess gold to buy a trader and kind of uh, put that out there. Okay, you on the other hand, plant this there. We got some deer. That's okay. I'll take the plus one production. That should make for an okay first tile. And where do we want to send this trade route? Ooh, that science from Germany would be really nice since we have a research alliance. So let's just get that. Plus four science. And then Maui, you can just sit here and die. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, I'd have to sacrifice the iron for that aqueduct. So I think I'm just going to actually just uh, go ahead with the builder. Some of these heroes still aren't claimed, which is surprising. Neither is the Great Pyramid. That is really interesting. Or the Great Bath. Wow, these guys are not building any wonders at all. That is kind of surprising. Anyway, I think an ancient wall would be good. And then, actually, let's queue that up with a builder, too. Once you finish that wall. We're not in too much of a hurry. Fair enough. And that citrus industry is really, really helping with our production and food. Ooh, did they really capture that? Oh, my God. That is not good at all. I can't believe that. I may have been a bit too careless there. Uh, we can't get Sinbad just yet. He's like just out of range, but I think once we get Sinbad, we can hunt that uh, settler down. Okay, let's get Hattusa too. Maybe invest in Cardiff. Ooh, and we finally got Alza Minerva, so we can make use of that as Portugal. And then I'll fortify. Okay. But where did that... Okay, the Barbarian is coming from here. So I think I actually want to go ahead and send someone out there to take care of that Barbarian camp. So if we can get something, I don't know. Maybe a horseman, though there might be some kind of pikeman. Let's just send you over here. Or maybe even you can go over here. Okay. And then repair your outer defenses. So we've got a little bit of a chip in a wall. You want an economic alliance. I don't know if I, if I want to ally with you, but I mean, for the trade routes, I think I'll take it. I have to. And then our navigation school is coming up. Oh, they took out our swordsmen too. Those caravels are too good. Medieval walls. And that should be good. Just kind of chugging along in the uh, Renaissance era here. Once we get our nails up, though, it should be a lot more productive. Because those trade routes are going to be amazing. Right, medieval fair. I think we have everything we want. So, Just look at these trade routes go, man. Okay, is there another settlement yet again? 
Looks like it. I do not like how quickly they're grabbing all this tile stuff, too. Hmm. Okay, well, I think the first priority is still taking these guys out. Let's get an industrial zone here. And defend here. And that now should be up very, very quickly. It is the mark of an education. All right, education. Mind. Now we have our navigation schools too, so I will definitely start prioritizing building those. This campus is going up very soon. So is this intelligence agency. Well, that intelligence agency is actually okay. Who did you take down there, my other swordsman? Oh crap! Let's get Sinbad. And thankfully, we can actually purchase him again in this era. I think. I do not know why we cannot purchase him. That is really, really weird. Maybe if I wait again and see. I don't know what the problem is here. Okay, now I can purchase Sinbad, but for whatever reason last time I could not. So anyhow, these guys are screwed. Let me just try to re recap my settler there. And you'll see if we can... Okay, you're running away like a coward, of course. But we do have her now. Unfortunately, it does not have its colors yet. I think I'll send this trade route to uh, Germany here. Keep stacking that. And let's get this plus one movement. But only after I move up here. Okay, there we go. Helmsman. And I love the model for this. Looking very, very nice. Let's get some ancient wall. Maybe ancient walls. I don't know. Maybe a campus, actually. Just prioritize that. I don't want to build on those science tiles. Let's just build it here. And then I don't really care. I just need it for the um, coastal tiles for that science. And then navigation school, I mean. Okay, let's go over here. Kill you. And you are just out of range. Oof. I need some kind of swordsman. So let me try to buy... Right, I can buy a swordsman and then try to get him onto the island over there. And it looks like... Oh, man. They are making... They almost completely conquered Byzantium here. <clears throat> I don't know. What, where is their last city? Andrianople. They have, yeah, completely taken over Constantinople. They've taken over Thessalonica. And there's, like, no hope in sight for Byzantium. Poland is completely dominating everyone. Man. We really need to put a stop to them. Sweden is doing okay. Looks like they're settling against Russia. And Russia is finally colonizing the steppes. Though I don't know what Georgia is doing. They only have four cities at this point, which is kind of sad. Byzantium. Yeah, they haven't even settled, uh, what is it? Anatolia. That's what I was looking for. Okay, you come over here. Kill this guy. There we go. 900 gold. That is insane. And maybe we can buy another now. Not yet. Okay, well, I'll still send you out here to try to capture this settler. And we need to start building some Fatoria, Fatorias, I should say, ASAP. We are also friendly with everyone except for Poland, so I really want to save Byzantium. And we can start building some Fatorias in uh, England. <coughs> so, go out here and start improving this fish. And get onto this island. Okay. Maybe we can also take this camp out. Yes, we can. Oh, and it immediately gets rid of it. That is amazing. As well as giving us some nice Eurekas there. Okay, not bad, not bad. I think I might settle over here. I'm kind of tempted to set on the olives, actually, and make use of this coastal stuff. Not the correct terminology, but still. Looking like some. there's still some very nice, juicy cities down there. Okay. Let's get a harbor here. Plus three, not bad. And then Guarda should be growing fairly uh, rapidly. Okay, and then I think we're going to move on to this tile. Not yet. So that does have a uh, cliff surrounding it, unfortunately. And... 
No more barbs to pillage. Doesn't look like it. Ooh, there are actually some over here. So maybe I go over here with Sinbad. And I'm kind of surprised no one has settled Iceland yet. Anyhow, build some fish on there. Or a fishing boat. And let's send this to Germany. We could also send this to England to get plus 20 per turn. Ooh la la. I think we'll just send this to Germany though and get the plus 4 science. I think that's plus 2 actually. Anyway, let's just go build this. Maybe here. The Fatoria. And we will get the bonus. There we go. I love that model. So we can send that to London and then improve our stuff there. Okay, send this to me. Actually, let's give it to England. And then... Vote for... What do we have? A ton of wine, actually. So let's vote for wine. Even though they're probably going to vote against that. Because I have so much of it and they hate the player always. Meteor shower. And what do they vote for? Wine, of course. Of course. Of course. I also want to send something to Umea. But in the meantime, they don't really have any coastal tiles for me to work, unfortunately. So let's just build some more Fatorias. And then I'll finish exploring with them now. Okay, please stop avoiding me and just stay there. Oh my god, you are very, very annoying. Okay, I can explore, so let's just finish you off and have you explore. And where are you going? Please just head in my direction. Okay, you're sending me a delegation. Okay, and you're not heading my way. Alright, let's hope we can corner this guy. He's probably going to disembark here. So he actually just stayed there for whatever reason. I'm not sure why, why I can't capture him. That is really, really weird. Uh, we'll keep you and just have you sit around though. So why can't I capture you at all? That is really, really weird. Sleep. There you go. That's kind of pissing me off. Not going to lie. So what is the deal with that guy? He's like frozen in place. Let me just send this to photo and guard the government plaza. Always good. We'll be guarding three uh, plazas here. And let's get a navigation school as well. We can actually just buy it out. So there we go. And it says it reflects our value and priorities. Damn right. That's going to give us a huge science boost. We are at 113 some medieval walls and can we buy a navigation school here hey 122 that was like 10 science or 9 science that is super super big we can just barely uh, not afford a navigation school let's join a uh, Alza Minerva talk about a late society hmm maybe we'll get the extra gold though I don't think we need it so maybe this just the uh, production from urban planning for now Okay, you're denouncing me. There we go. Looks like not that many people have actually joined a society yet. So I think it's about time to free some uh, Byzantine cities. Poland's vampires are probably putting a dent in... Uh, whatever. Okay, I think I know why I can't actually capture this settler. I think I need a boat to do that. And currently, my only boat is out here. So let me just put you into port here. Then I'll transfer you. Okay, and you can kill this guy, I think. So just go ahead and do that. These caravels are extremely annoying. Okay, and you just ran like a sissy. Okay, we might be able to get a golden age, though, this era. So I'm hoping someone just takes this settler. It's very, very annoying. And in the meantime, I think I might even buy a settler. Okay, I can't afford one. Let me just chop one out. And that is 18 turns. That is super, super slow. My god. Purchase a navigation school. 
Okay, even more science. Looks amazing. I love the design of that. Yeah, let's get a workshop here. Okay, so my master plan is to just send you here and save some time. We need that settler. So, okay, it's going to take one more turn, unfortunately. And, okay, just transfer here. And I think I should be able to take you in one turn if I have enough movement speed. That is a big if, though. Okay, I need my now back over here to take this uh, caravel out. Being a bit of a pest here. And then I'll keep you on standby here. Okay. So, we have medieval fairs. Let me just... Mm. Put you over here, and then we can try to get this guy, um, or steal him. Of course, you're going to attack my city here. So I'll keep promoting this owl, and then get that vault building. It should help with the culture. I think we have a plus four commercial hub, and that should really get a huge boost from that. Beowulf, not bad. Okay, and you're staying in place. Oh, you came onto my tile, so I win either way. All right. You come here. I don't. I can't actually move you, so we're going to take the settler here. And finally reclaim him. And then I think we can just be safe and settle on the wine there. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to move you back here and then transfer to this uh, tile over here. Okay, you're just going to be a dick. All right. Move you. And... Move you there. Okay. So let's take that out, and... I'll just have you on defense. Sinbad, please kill that guy next turn. Maybe we can even get some gold off of him. And move on to that wine. Okay, looks like Byzantium is gone. That sucks. We might mount an offense, I don't know. We'll have to see where we go from here. And grab that navigation school. And go auto-explore, okay. So where did that pesky little caravel go? Here you are, of course, trying to pillage more of my stuff. Take some gold from you. And man, these guys just do not learn at all. Cannot escape me. And one last plunder. There we go. Thank you for the 1800 gold. I really appreciate it. My, my uh, navigation school fund also really appreciates that. Very charitable donation. And then I'll buy out a navigation school over in Funchal. For that extra science. Maybe I'll even buy out some more tiles. There we go. So we have like two additional science to this city. And I, I can't build anything else, I guess. Let's just get uh, campus research grants. And where do we want to send you? Maybe to London? That is the extra production from the Fatal Dias. So, not bad if I do say so myself. Okay, you can finish off the horses and then you can finish off the oranges there. For the citrus. Okay. If we had some faith for the yeah, the uh, Golden or Heroic Ages, that would really help with uh, finishing off Iberia and then colonizing North Africa there. But I guess in the meantime, we're just going to have to explore more and start putting down some more Fatorias. Okay, there's the wine. And finally, we've settled Sicily. Though, ugh, Valletta has grabbed that port there. That is very, very unfortunate. Oh well. I guess I'll just buy these coastal tiles out for my uh, navigation school. And I'll just have you on standby. Build a monument and then uh, we'll just wait for this city to become just slightly more productive. Okay, let's remove this improvement, and then we can place something on, like a pasture on the horses. 
All right. I'm surprised we're still having amenity problems, though. That is really weird because we still have tons of amenities uh, due to our policy cards. So let's repair this harbor. And we really want to go and free Constantinople. Maybe we do that next episode. And just see how things play out from now. Okay, your final charge should be on that citrus. And hopefully we have less amenity problems. I should probably start trading with the AI, though gold is really not a problem at this point. And... I don't really care about that Great Admiral either. Okay, you're basically dead, so... I'll just save you the effort of finagling with you a few turns. Just let you die there. Okay, there's Sinbad. He's coming back to explore. Probably the Black Sea. It looks like Russia actually is being a bit more aggressive, finally, and colonizing. So that's a good thing to see. Though their science is kind of puny. 37 is like pathetic Russia. Looks like even a few cities have been raised here, which is kind of sad. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. That is a ton of barren land. Oh, oh well. What can you do? It looks like Sweden is settling more aggressively, but we're going to need to want to um, take down these cities and I think free Constantinople next episode and then invest some more into Hattusa, some of those scientific city-states. Sweden is still super, super lazy here. They have not settled Scandinavia, really. Norway hasn't even been settled, except for like the very southern tip. Let's finish that lighthouse. We would have been fine and just have that navigation school built already if we didn't have those stupid barbarians interfering. So, I'll just skip to next turn. And I think we just need another settler here. Okay, yeah, Vega has one. We weren't too proactive. If only that came a bit later. If only she just held off just a tiny bit. Oh well, what can you do? Okay. So I think in the meantime we might build a campus here and then settle on the olives. And then we can really take advantage of the coast here. And then settle our final city on the sheep. Or maybe here and build an aqueduct. Kind of in the Algiers area. Alright, and that emergency failed. Let me just send this uh, swordsman over to the settler. And let's colonize these olives we've been waiting on, holding off from that for so, so long. And then um, we can't afford a settler just yet, so let's just churn out a swordsman. And then I guess we can probably buy another now later. Actually, let's just get a knight. Actually, that's kind of expensive. Hmm. Okay, I'll just take the swordsman then. Let's get a few trade routes out and get these friendships up. They should give us a better, some better trade deals, I think, after we have the friendship for the bonus. And we have tons of wine. That is not a good deal. Friendship here. Get some wine here, please. Nope, that is a horrible deal. Can we get some good deals from you? Let me just see. Okay, man, they are not giving me any good deals at all. I know why they're giving me crappy deals. It's because of the um, the amenities from the wine have been reduced due to the, due, the world, due to the World Congress. So they've been kind of been gimping my strats here, just by ganging up on me. Okay, you don't want any oranges. Do you want anything here? Nope. For whatever reason, I guess they're fine, even though they don't have any luxuries improved. Okay. Suit yourself, then. And get a market. I think we can buy this navigation school. Yep. And that'll increase our science. We have, like, 149 now. That is super, super impressive. No one has even hit 100 yet. And mind you, this is on, like, a, on, like, immortal difficulty. So the AI has some pretty significant boosts. 
Let's get medieval, medieval walls. And we just finished that workshop. This should be like plus four. Yep. So that is going to help with our production a lot, especially when we get out these navigation schools. And then I think a commercial hub later on in Quambra. Okay. And then the, the si extra science has been really pushing us along with AT Mananke. I should probably actually go ahead and buy some more of these floodplains out. Speaking of which. Okay. So I'll keep you spying in there. And let me actually switch this. And... Okay, I don't need to recruit you either. Not too big of a concern for me. Okay, it looks like our alliance just wore out. But those Fatorias should still be putting in some work. Okay, let's up you here. And maybe we can just get to six for uh, another big bonus there. We're still at war with Poland. I think I'll I'll go ahead and try to free Constantinople because Poland is having a huge uh, city headcount here. And I'm worried they're going to build up a huge science lead as well. Okay. So settle here. It looks like the icon for the ivory is back as well. Okay, I don't know why you're congratulating me now. Alright, well, I don't really care about you. After I raised one of your cities anyway. And this is our first settlement on Africa as well. Okay, I did not mean to move that swordsman. I guess that is a monumental achievement worthy of some era score. We are so, so close to a golden age as well. Might as well just go ahead and grab that. If this turn ever ends, that is. Okay, so we build a camp here. I'll put you back in the city. That was my mistake, moving you out. And... Let's go ahead and renew some kind of science alliance with England. Get a research alliance. There we go. And... Okay, this should be like, what, plus three? Very, very lucrative there. Thanks to the Fatorias as well. And I'll take that economic alliance. Though I'm still kind of sad Berlin was taken. Looks like they've also conquered Armagh. At least I think that's how it's pronounced. Okay, so Cidade Vila. You need to buy these horses out. I know you're growing towards them, but I still want to expedite that process since I don't ha want to have this builder sitting around. And then uh, forget about that on top of that. So that plus two, that plus one food in production is just too good to pass up from that pasture improvement. Okay, and we finally actually got the Golden Age. So I think to celebrate, we might place down in a harbor, a uh, commemoratory harbor. Let me just see. Hmm. We didn't manage to get Mahabodhi, actually, which is unfortunate. Okay, we can only get, like, the Forbidden City, so... Not too good. I don't want to get rid of that industry, either. Though maybe I can get Kiowa. Try to increase those uh, trade routes to city-states, since I will be prioritizing those. Hmm. Too bad I can't build a Fatoria in that lake. Though it'd be impossible to get a now over there. Though I might be able to do something with Bologna if they do get a tile over here. and I could build a Fatoria and get some science. I could even do something with Hattusa if they go ahead and buy a water tile. Unfortunately, I'm kind of restricted since they don't have any of that. Very, very unfortunate. Anyway, I get this granary, and you still don't have any bonus resources to work with. Looks like they built a farm on top of that niter, which is very, very odd. Okay, you're almost done with that campus. And then I can probably buy the library and navigation school out. And you're at 11 pops. That is quite the achievement there. By far my biggest city, I think. Though I should move to Ping Pingala Tufaro to ma kind of maximize my uh, gains from him since he does get bonus science depending on how high the pop is. The population. So let me just move you over there. 
kind of min max a little bit. And then I'll buy the library out and this navigation school. And that should buffer our um, science yields even further. Okay, let's also get another settler. And the shipyard. Okay, but man, we are really like the Mali with the coasts. So, so strong. Okay, I think after I vote for myself, I'll build a harbor and then try to culture bomb that tile near Valeda. I also should probably check on how my religion is doing. So that was voted for me. Let me quickly plop a, uh, plop a harbor down here. Plus 3-2, that is pretty good. But that is 93 turns, so I'm a bit worried about that. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Okay, in the meantime, get some campus research grants. And I'm really just waiting for a golden age here. So, I think we get ancient walls, but I think for today I'm going to call that an episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys later. But for now, adios, and check back in for episode 5 later. Alright, peace.